Hi, it's Ian from The Useless Crafter. So my camera is not working. <laughs> so today I'm just gonna be doing a screen share. Um, I had a special request for this particular on, um, no, Elsa. And she is in design space. So it's awesome because everyone will have access to this. Um, you don't have to pay until you actually make it. So if you wanna just follow along and practice, this is perfect. So what you want to do is go to images and I typed in frozen and it's right here. So it's $1.99. If you have access, which I do, then when you go to check out, um, this will be 50% off. So you'll pay a dollar for this one. Um, so you click on it and then you insert the image and we'll have two right here, but I'm going to flatten this one. So this one, when you go and you click on flatten, what happens is each layer consolidates into one piece. So if you see this, um, this Elsa, you can see she's in different layers right here. So um, this is an SVG file. So each color is its own line item here. Whereas this one, which is the one we just brought in and I flattened, it's a cut and print because when you flatten it, it's going to send it to the printer and it's gonna print this out and then you can send it back to your Cricut and it will cut the outline. So anyway, this is here just for like, for us to see a visual cue of what it should look like, okay? But let's look at this file. So what, a couple things that I noticed with this file is there are two backgrounds and you can see this one is grayed out so it's like um where it's hidden we're not seeing it so if we did click on it oh it's an offset okay got it um i don't see any reason why we would need this offset so i'm just going to delete it here's our black background our hair our face um that looks like the white okay her eyes her lips her dress and her dress. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, the biggest challenge that I see on here is going to be this arm, this blue arm, because at first I thought it went all the way over here, so it would be in two pieces, but it looks like the arm is one big piece. So a couple things, one, I would definitely slice out right here to separate the blue so that the blue won't, and no one's gonna notice, if if you slice out a little piece right here and separate the blue into two pieces, no one is going to know that the, that her, um, that this blue on her dress is in two pieces or shouldn't be in two pieces. Um, I will, we'll see what else we need to do, okay? So let's make this one, let's go for our usual 30 inches and see what we have. So we're gonna change it there. Let's zoom out for a second. Um, and I'm gonna say in this instance, let's not do the snowflakes right now. So what you wanna do is when you, let's click on this layer over here and click on contour. We're gonna get rid of the snowflakes because the snowflakes is counting in our measurement and they're separate pieces. I will show you how to do these snowflakes later. So let's hide all, it should leave us with just this, perfect. So here is our piece. Let's get rid of, let's see, can we get rid of the snowflakes? Let's, we'll ungroup it later and we'll get rid of it, so. Um, all right, so at 30 inches, let's see what we have. Okay, this is the layer that we want. So let's first, let's get rid of that snowflake. Let's go to contour. And when you use contour, you can either select the snowflake from here or from here. But you know what? With all the details, it's gonna be a lot easier to just slice it out. So let's go and grab a circle. And because this blue, it's it's showing as one item. Even though they're not connected, it's showing as one item. So I wanna get rid of this snowflake. I'm gonna take this circle and make sure that the snowflake is underneath. I'm gonna grab the snowflake 
for all the blue and my circle. So that's two items and I'm gonna slice it. So this is going to remove the snowflake from being uh, grouped together or welded with these pieces. So we can just delete all of this. We don't need, I mean, I guess you can keep the snowflake at this point because it's its own separate piece. Okay, so now we have this. So what do we know? It is 15, 16 inches across and 19 inches down, but really it's not 19 inches because it's counting the snowflakes and the distance, the empty, the empty space here in our calculation. So let's continue to slice out these snowflakes and we'll want them because they go in her hair. So let's do this. Let's slice out one snowflake at a time. Now when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So what we're slicing is the circle and the blue item. So here, and the slice results you can get rid of. So here's our snowflake. It's now its own separate piece. And then this sleeve and the snowflakes are still attached. So we will slice out this piece right here. Now, look at how I'm pulling the two pieces though. I'm starting up here, I'm grabbing my circle, and I'm going down and grabbing the snowflake. I don't need my mouse to grab everything. As soon as it touches one item, it counts it. So here's two, let's slice it out. Um, okay, let's move, let's get rid of the slice results. And here's our other snowflake. Okay, let's grab these two right here. And I'm going, let's see, I don't see any blue coming out here. So that means my snowflake is right in here completely covered. So that's what I want. I'm going to grab it like this and slice. And it's important because if the blue showed up over here, then when you slice it, it's going to slice incorrectly. You want to make sure that whatever piece you have is completely covered inside. So this is good. Let's grab, oops. Okay, so this snowflake is out. So now let's see our true measurement of this sleeve. So it's 12 inches this way, which is not a big deal. We're gonna slice it right here, right? And make it look like it's two pieces. So let's bring in a square. And let's get it to finish out this piece here. So let's unlock it, make it really thin to match the width of this, okay? And I'm gonna move it like this, so it's gonna look like it's part of this, okay? So let's do this, let's grab these two items and slice. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. So you see how it sliced off pretty cleanly? When I put it back, there's no way that you can tell me this was not meant to be right here. No one's going to notice it and this part, so then, you know, we're trying to make it seamless. So it's going to look really, really good. No one's going to notice that this was supposed to be connected to this sleeve. So let's get rid of all our slice results. Just move, delete that, delete this. Okay, so we have this. So we wanna separate the two pieces, right? So let's um, bring in another square because we wanna now detach this top portion. So bring in your square. We can get rid of this circle up here. So go ahead and delete that circle. Oops, shoot. I deleted my square. Okay, here's my square. Let's unlock it because we wanna make sure that our square covers, um, you know what? I don't think I can do it, so hold on. So when you can't cover one whole piece in your new shape, then what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate this and we're gonna contour, contour it out. So click on contour. We're gonna want this top piece, right? So let's hide all and it left us with this bottom piece. Um, 
I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna start over. Okay, so here we are. We're hold on. So this is show all, right? This is what it looks like when we first come in. So let's separate out. Let's click on all these little things. So we're deselecting it. We're basically removing it. Oops, hold on. And it's kind of hard to select it up here. But see how I'm I'm basically deselecting all these items. Um, this is still on. I am trying very hard <laughs> to get rid of these pieces and I can't seem to get rid of them. Um, is it this? Okay. Maybe it's these. Nope. Gosh, this, I hate doing it like this because it's so hard to tell where your mouse is. Okay, so... I'm almost done. I think I just need to get rid of this one right here. Okay. Good. So see, we, we're left with just this bottom piece. And now this top, this one, we're going to go and contour. And we want just the top piece now. So we want to deselect everything else. So we're going to deselect this arm. And let's see if it's all of these. Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to hide all. I want this one. Oh, these things are so difficult. Okay, we don't want this. Okay, so that's hidden. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, we don't want these pieces. Oh no, I do want that piece. That's this. Shoot. There. Okay. Maybe these? No? Oh my gosh. It's so hard to tell. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I can continue selecting all these other pieces. Okay. I think it's working. All right, so we don't want that one. Okay, just one more. I think that's it. I think we've got everything. Okay, perfect. So this piece is now 7.8 by 2.8, so we can cut that. And this piece is 12.41 by 9.1. So I'm, um, I wonder if we can rotate this at all. Oh, perfect. So you see, I didn't shrink it. I didn't do anything. I just rotated this so that there's a new calculation for height and width because width is calculated by the most far left to the most far right and the distance between. So by rotating it this way, my width is 10.3, which is good. And then my height is my top subtracted from my bottom. So it's 11. So this piece will now look seamless even though originally it looked like it was going to be a gigantic piece so looking at this elsa she's going to look seamless because her arm this arm dress right here was the biggest piece and we sliced it right here which no one's going to notice and then what left us this big piece but by rotating it we got it to fit so that it can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So this is looking marvelous. Okay, <laughs> let's get rid of this circle. We don't need this. All right, so let's zoom out for a second. Let's look at the blue. So the blue is nine by 10 and that's great. But you know what, we can separate these two pieces. So when we go to the make it page, we can put them closer together because right now we would waste some space right here. So let's duplicate this and contour them out. So we're gonna to go to contour and we're going to select this one so that we're left with just this little piece here. And then we're gonna select this one and hit contour and we're gonna get rid of this piece and we want this piece left, right? So there you have it. So it's 6.2 by seven. So when we go to cut this, you can cut it something like this, put it really close together so that and you can do this, maybe put, so then you have a lot of space left over to save your glitter cardstock. 
All right, so that's done. Let's see, what else do we have? You have her eyes, and you can do the same thing with the eyes. I mean, it's not a big deal because it's so small here, but I would separate it out because I do so many of these characters, and I do use glitter cardstock, so I like to save it, and I like using my scraps, so there you have it. Okay, let's look at, okay, so this is the white. Now, the white is kind of hard to see, so just for a second, I'm gonna change it to a green just so that we could see it better. And let's slice out these pieces, okay? So, here is our square, and I'm gonna make it big because I'm gonna use the same square and I'm gonna slice everything out piece by piece. So let's start with this. I'm gonna grab, oops, shoot, okay. I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. And then I'm just gonna continue. So now that piece is out, right? I'm gonna use the same piece of cardstock or the same square. And I'm just gonna continue slicing out things. So, and keep in mind there's something underneath here, right? So that's our, that's another item. And now there's an item right here. But as long as when I'm slicing, my mouse is only picking up two pieces that I'm good. So watch this. I'm gonna use the same square, right? And it's in a lot of traffic. There's stuff all over, right? But I'm gonna go from over here. I'm grabbing my square, grabbing the green, and I only grab two items so I can slice. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab it using the same piece. I haven't removed anything, right? Here's my little flower. I'm going to slice it from up here. And now I only have this left. I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna slice it out here. So using the same square and not removing anything, you see you can basically, I call it slicing in traffic because there's like a, you know, a lot of stuff going on, right? Um, but as long as your mouse doesn't pick it up, then you're only slicing two things at one time. So see, I moved all the stuff that we don't need over here. I'm gonna delete it. And now our green is all separated out, so it's nice and small. Okay, so that's our green. Oh, and actually it shouldn't be green, right? It should be white. So now that we can see everything, I'm just gonna quickly grab all of this and change it back to white. Okay. So we're just moving along. Everything looks good, right? So now we have the hair. So let's zoom in for a second and see what we have here. So the hair is, it looks like the hair is all one piece and it's too big. The hair is 12.8 by 24. So, um oh this piece is separated okay so for sure we should remove it so let's do that let's grab our square and then we can slice the hair i'm going to show you something that's going to make it look seamless so elsa at 30 inches is going to basically be seamless it's going to look amazing so we're going to grab these two items we're going to slice because that little piece is a separate piece already. So we wanna make sure, um, did it go? Okay, let's delete that, delete the slice results. So now here's her little tail piece of her hair. So her hair is 12.8 by 20. So I am tempted to kind of slice out her hair right here because that's going to be a thin piece either there or here um i feel like this would be easier so all right here's one of my favorite tricks for slicing out here um go to the font if you don't have this font okay so it's i love glitter and it's this font right here, okay? So it's on Dafont, which is D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And it's, um, 
it's not spam or anything. It's not gonna ruin your computer, I promise you. I've downloaded a bazillion fonts from there. What you want is you want the bracket, the square bracket, so it's the key to the right of your letter P on your keyboard, okay? It's gonna give you, oops. Okay, so we're, it's gonna give you this beautiful, ah, uh, hold on. This little, like, tendril kind of shape thing, right? It looks like the hair here, right? That's why I like it so much. So let's zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make a deliberate cut. So we're gonna separate out the hair and I'm gonna show you that it's gonna look very, very natural. Um, so I'm gonna have a hard time right here. So maybe we can slice this into three pieces. So I wanna make this thinner to match sort of the width here. So watch this. I'm gonna have this kind of fit in, so it's gonna look really natural. Maybe right around there, okay? So I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. Now when you're removing this, this is gonna be tricky because our little piece went into this part over here. So let's just slowly remove these pieces, okay? So we don't need that. Oops, so this one we don't need, okay. Oh, you know what, that doesn't even look bad. I'm gonna leave that in there. But you see how this looks very natural, right? I'm gonna remove these two because it doesn't matter. Okay, so let me zoom out for a second and I'm gonna put it back so that you can see what it looks like and compare it to our original picture. Okay, oh geez, sorry. Okay, let me grab this and put it back. So you see how her hair right here, it kind of looks like just the way the hair is, although this looks like we should put it back. Um, and I already got rid of that piece, didn't I? Okay, so hold on, let's undo this for a second. Okay, so on this one, I do want that little piece back. So here, go to contour. Let's get rid of this piece. This piece, we're gonna put right back. I'm gonna zoom in so we can really see it. Okay, so we're gonna put it right back to where it was. Okay, then you're gonna grab everything and weld it back together. So the hair is back here, but this is broken up. So that's going to, so what we're gonna do then is, let's bring this over, okay. And we want, oh man, what happened here? Did I weld it to something? Okay, here we go. So this piece right here is now in two separate pieces. So let's duplicate it and we're going to contour it out. So let's hit contour. And let's see, let's remove this piece and remove these little tendrils, right? Okay, so we have just this long braid left. And then this piece, let's contour, and let's contour out the bottom piece and this. So we're left with this piece. So this piece is 11 inches by nine. We can cut that on the Cricut. You can barely tell that it's not supposed to be attached, right? It's like this. So now we still have this piece left. This piece is a little bit wide and a little bit long, so we need to slice it in one more place and I would probably slice it right here. So let's go again to our text, and we want the square bracket, so here we go. 
and let's zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna make this line a little bit thicker and we can probably slice it off right here and I think we would be good. So right around, maybe turn this a little bit. Okay, so now let's grab these two items and slice. So we've broken up this hair right there. See, that looks really, really good to me. So let's zoom out for a second. Okay, we can get rid of this piece. Oops, hold on. Get rid of this. And this. And this. <coughs> All right, so her braid is in two pieces. You're not even going to notice that. So let's duplicate it and contour to separate out the pieces. So let's go to contour. And we don't want this piece and we don't want this piece. That leaves us the bottom half of the braid. So it's 4.8 by 4.4, perfect. And then let's get, let's go to contour. Let's get rid of this, leaves us the long braid. And the long braid is 8.5 by 12.5. So it's a little bit long, but all we need to do is rotate it and it's now 10.1, maybe rotate it a little bit more, 10.4 by 11.2. So the hair, while we made seams, we made deliberate seams. So it's not gonna look like there's seams in it, it's just gonna look like they were supposed to be in pieces. So that's gonna look great. So far, your Elsa is gonna look really, really seamless. All right, so what we have left is her face. Um, these are in big pieces, so I think what we should do is, um, is slice it out. So let's move this over just so that we have space. I'm going to move it all the way over. Okay, and then let's bring in a square so that we can slice this out. So let's get her hand. Here's her hand, right? I'm gonna go down like this and slice. Then I'm gonna take the same square, I'm gonna put it over here and get out this part. And I'm gonna go straight down and grab the two items and slice. And then we can get rid of these slice results, right? So that we can get rid of. Let's look at our little piece here. We can get rid of this. So now the hand and the little piece right here, they're separated. Now we just need to get this piece out. So let's go down and slice. Okay, so here's her face. And then let's get rid of this and this. Okay. So we've got this, we've got this. So if we end up, oh, what I like to do with the face is I like to duplicate it. Turn this one into black and also contour it. So go to contour and hide all. So what happens is we're gonna put a range sent to the front. We're gonna put this face on top of this black piece. So if there were seams coming down her eyebrow or her eyes or her mouth, we will cover that seam with this black piece of paper. Now, we couldn't cover the eyes or this line because it's not enclosed, it's open. So we can enclose it. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. This is just extra steps to make sure that it is seamless, right? So I'm gonna take this circle, I'm gonna duplicate it because we're gonna need to do two of them. I'm going to first make this circle really small and kind of have it fit right in here so that I can enclose this eyebrow, okay? Then this circle, I'm gonna put it kind of like, let's unlock it. I kind of wanna make it 
very natural looking like that. Okay, so grab these two items and weld. And then now this line is enclosed and this. So all you do is you go back to contour, you hide all. So now let's bring that to the front. If there were any seams coming down, you wouldn't see them at all because there's that black and then it sits on our big black piece, okay? Now let's zoom out. This is the last thing that we have. So here is our, oops, here's our black background, right? And it is big. It's 30 inches by 20. So we need to slice it up into big puzzle pieces that we can put back together after we cut it. So the, this is how I like to do it. Let's bring in a square. And technically you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But I don't like dealing with half inches. So let's just make it 11 inches. So here is one square, put it down. We're gonna build our squares. We're gonna basically build six squares that are completely flushed with each other. The reason why we're building six is 11 plus 11 is 22, right? And our width is 20, so that's gonna cover that. Our length or our height is 30, so 11 plus 11 plus 11 is 33, so six squares is gonna cover this image, okay? So with our first square, go to our position feature over here and round to the nearest whole number. So 15.1 becomes 15, 3.8 becomes four. So what we're saying is go over 15 units. Um, yeah, go over 15 units, go down four units, and this is the beginning of our square. So we're gonna duplicate this square put it really close to the first one, and then round again. 26.3 becomes 26, 4.1 becomes four. We have two squares that are completely flushed with each other. Because the first one, it's at 15, right? So 15 plus 11 is 26, and it's at 26, right? Okay, so both of these squares are flushed. Hit the Shift key and grab both squares over here, and you can see they're selected because they're a darker gray. Duplicate it. because they're already flushed, right? So now this set, we're gonna make it flush with the top set. So put it close, 14.9 becomes 15, 15.1 15 becomes 15. Duplicate this set of squares as well, and we'll put it down here. This becomes 15 and 26. So we have six squares that are completely flush with each other. What you wanna do now is scroll down Go get our black background, here it is, and arrange send to the front. What we're looking for here is we wanna make sure our seams, where we're cutting it is gonna be big pieces. So I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see that. Whoa, oh, okay, like wait a minute, <laughs> did you see that? It looked like our squares weren't flush. I, was, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so what you don't want is, something like this, where this little piece right here gets cut off, right? Um, I don't know if we can avoid that. If we, Okay, there, if we move it up, okay. So, I'm moving it over. So it looks like we have a piece cut right here, and then her face, we're good there. Oh, what happened here? This this square isn't flush somehow? That's weird. So the reason why it's good to put it on whole numbers is that we can always fix our mistakes. So that looks like it should be 15 and 26. Okay, there. Um, okay, so we've got, this is gonna cut here, this is gonna cut here, okay. It looks pretty good. I think we're good with slicing it like, like this. So let's go and slice one square at a time. And 
and then we're going to slice the next square. And then the next square. And that's a glitch right there, but I think we're okay. Just keep slicing all the way around. Okay, and then I'm gonna zoom out for a second. Okay, once you slice up everything, I like to move it over and keep it in order. So I'm kind of checking my pieces to make sure that they cut well. I didn't miss any piece. And these are all big pieces, right? I like this. This is my next big piece. These two I'm gonna separate and these two I'm gonna separate. So these are smaller pieces, but it was, it's just the way the image is, it is what it is. So with this, I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm, and the reason is because then that maybe we can save space on the next page, when, on the next step when we go to make it. So I duplicated, I'm gonna to go to contour, I'm gonna separate out the pieces, okay? So here is the first one, right? So there's our arm. And then let's go to contour. We wanna get rid of the arm this time. There, so now these two are two separate pieces, right? This one I could probably slice out. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so, he, oops, did it work? Okay, so here's my hand. What happened? My pieces disappeared. What just happened there? Whoa, design space went glitchy on me. So I'm gonna undo for a second. Wow, that was weird. Okay, there's my hand. Here's the rest of my hair. So it goes like this. All right, so those are my pieces. Let's get rid of this. We don't need any of these pieces. Okay, and we also don't need our print and cut piece, right? So let's delete that. Let's go to the Make It page and see what we have. This piece, honestly, if you make it, you're gonna love it. It's going to be seamless and beautiful. So just click OK here, it doesn't matter. All right, so here are our white pieces. Um, you know, you can move these things and make it more efficient on your, on your, so that you can save cardstock next time. Maybe even do something like this. So that basically you're using a four by four piece of cardstock. You might already have this in scraps, so you could do that. And then that leaves all of this for next time for your next project. Okay, here's our black, big pieces, I love it. All right, that one's not so big, but, so our black background is in five pieces. Oh no, six, okay, so we can move these. Let's click on this, click on the three squares, or three dots, move object. We're gonna move it to, I think it definitely fits on this page. Hit confirm, okay? So you could do something like this. There's a lot of things that you can do to make it efficient, right? So that's on there. Let's go get this arm, hit the three dots, move object, we'll move it to the same page. So our black is going to be Five, five sheets of cardstock, okay? The only thing when you're moving things is make sure they're not overlapping because they will cut. All right, so here's our skin page. Um, I think we can fit everything. So let's click on this, move object. Let's move it with the face and then let's work our magic. Turn this upside down. I think that'll give us more room. Perfect. This you can even move over here if you really wanted to save cardstock for next time. Okay, our hair, we can rotate this if you remember. So if we rotate this, this will fit. Oops, I rotated it too much. Okay, so this is less than 12 inches, right? We can move this here. Um, this is a big piece. Let me see what else do we have? Okay, so I would move this one 
move object. Let's say you only had 12 by 12 cardstock and you only had a 12 by 12 mat. I would move it over here. So this is over here. This is here. This is here. This is really big, right? So let's move this one move object. And we can move it onto here. So now you have two, so your yellow pieces is gonna be two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock. On the first one, it doesn't matter that this says it's a 12 by 24 mat. As long as this is under, it will cut here. You just feed it in on your 12 by 12 mat with your 12 by 12 cardstock, and this is gonna cut beautifully. Okay, and then there's this piece. We're good there. Let's look at our blue. So our blue, like I was saying earlier, you can make this more efficient. You can do something like this. So this will be six by nine almost, right? So then that leaves all of this for next time to save. Here's our blue. I did not separate these. So this is why I like to contour or slice it out because otherwise this is gonna cut like this and you're just gonna have wasted space, right? You would like to put these two next to each other and then you'd have basically a full sheet of paper left. All right, our arm, same thing. We're gonna rotate this. Oh, wait a minute, it's already, let's rotate this up a little bit to make sure it fits. Okay, here are all our snowflake pieces. And let's see, we can rotate this, right? Okay, and let's see if we can fit everything on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, which I think we can. Here's our, and that's it. So everything except for the hair, the hair is two sheets of cardstock. Everything else is one sheet and then your black. Of course, your black background was a lot. And that's it. So this is gonna look beautiful. She's gonna be seamless to everyone who's looking at her. No one will notice that. It's gonna look amazing. And put, tag me if you end up doing this project. I would love to see it. Um, Post your comments, questions right here. So give me feedback. If you have a special request like this one that came in, um, give me the details. If you have a specific file, you can send that to me as well. It's an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys. See you next time.